One of the things we wanted to take advantage of is when we were going through the planning process and building this, we didn't know of another craft brewery on a commercial hop farm. Farm to table and such a big thing in restaurants and wineries in the middle of vineyards, they've been doing that for probably hundreds of years, but no one's put a brewery in a hop farm. And so we put a brewery in a hop farm and then you can come out and experience it. It's pretty cool. We were always the farm kids and on the hop farm, the hops grow up the vines all summer long and the entire vine is transported back to the picking facility where the cones are stripped and sorted, dried and then baled. So that's how they leave the farm and so that was kind of the idea behind Bale Breaker. It was our turn to break bales that our family was sending to breweries across the world. We start by growing hops, you know, Mike and Pat grow the hops all year and then we take those hops, put them in beer, and then the end consumer enjoys them. It's just a cool, that's a cool story. When my great-grandparents started farming hops out here, I'm sure they had no idea that we would ever start a brewery. But as the hop farm's grown, it's been nice to kind of diversify and the production of hops all the way through to the production of beer, that it's, it's fun to have a foot in kind of both worlds. When I see people drinking our beer around town, it, it's a good feeling, it's really cool. I like to make beer that we like to drink, and so when I see someone else drinking it, it you know, makes me happy, but ultimately it's our style and our expression of beer that, that you know, we're going after, and so people like it, that's awesome. We're incredibly thankful to the whole valley and everyone else that's been supporting us, because without the consumers drinking the beer, we'd still be at the milk house at the farm making 10-gallon batches and drinking it all ourselves. <laughs> <laughs>